Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. It is Friday morning and I am getting ready to hit the road and head to Oklahoma City to stay at Lodane's house tonight. And then tomorrow she and I are going to Dallas. So this is gonna be super fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And then Sunday, uh, we're coming back and we're gonna meet up with Ted and see a concert in Little Rock. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on. I'm just getting my stuff loaded up in the car. I've got about a five hour drive as always to Oklahoma City. I decided not to do much makeup because I'm just gonna be in the car all day. My waves are holding up pretty well from the new curl cream I've been using. So I'm real happy with how my hair's looking. I just did some lip gloss, a little bit of pink eyeshadow and some sunscreen. Road outfit is just my pink moth shirt. The color of the day is coral. I don't have anything coral, so I'm going pink. And then just some leggings and docks. So this is my comfy road outfit. And that reminds me, I need to grab a ring. Up here on my jewelry hanger thing, um, I'm gonna grab my moth ring and wear that today. The dogs are not happy because they see me packing up and they know I'm leaving and they know they're not going with me. So Ted is watching the dogs for me while I'm gone. Um, he's gonna come feed them on his lunch break and then stay with them at night. And then when we go Sunday to Little Rock, he's bringing the dogs with him. Um, they're gonna stay with us in the hotel. All right, trunk is packed up y'all and I am hitting the road. Don't mind that uh, exploded Diet Coke can that's been in there for over a year. I need to, I need to clean my trunk out. <laughs> I am pulling into McDonald's to get myself an iced coffee for the road. Since it's on my way out anyway, I don't really, really want to drive into town for Dunkin' or Starbucks. Plus, I've been on a McDonald's iced coffee kick lately, y'all. Hey, excuse me, McDonald's, what do you use on mobile app today? Yes, it's WZ58. Under Cindy? Yep. All right, Cindy, take a look at that screen. Make sure that is your order. And if it is, please go forward to the first window. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And also, I had enough points left in the McDonald's app to get it for free, so I thought, why not? And you can get up to a large size with the 3,000 points in the McDonald's app, but I just went ahead and got a medium because the large is like way, way, way too much coffee for me, geez Louise. Cindy? Yeah? Any receipt? Uh, nope. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Tired. <laughs> Tired, yeah. I haven't been coming through as much, man. I know, I've been missing you. I've been trying to eat less fast food. <laughs> I don't eat, eat much fast food myself. Yeah. Oh, I bet you get sick of it. Mm -hmm. I don't mean eat here anymore. I just rather go home and eat. Oh, yeah. Myself all day. <laughs> Have a good yeah, one. That was my McDonald's friend, you guys. They had to pull me up to the next window. <laughs> They're busy here this morning. I'm ready to hit the road, y'all. It's about 1045 now. And so I should be getting to Lodane's about 4.30, depending on how many times I have to stop drinking this iced coffee. It's probably gonna go right through me and I'm gonna have to make some pee stops. But uh, yeah, about I think somewhere around 4.30, I should be getting there, depending on traffic and everything. Thank right, you. you got iced coffee with Splenda? Um, just an iced coffee with Splenda, or no iced sugar. With Splenda, yeah. Okay, and can I get a straw too? I had to make sure they don't put sugar in it, man, because sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I don't trust it. But it looks like they did it right. This will fuel me until my next stop. Okay, y'all, I just got to text Lodane, let her know my ETA, and I'm hitting the road. I'll see you guys uh, at my next stop. in Fort Smith at Casey's. I'm gonna go in and pee and get me something to drink. And uh, I've still got about three hour drive from here. I'm about to get on the interstate after I leave here and drive through Fort Smith. Just stretching my legs here for a bit, giving you a view of the Casey's gas station off the highway here. Uh, but okay, I really gotta pee now, I gotta go in. All right, just went into Casey's and got myself a Coke Zero from the fountain to get me through. And I've got about, let's see how many miles, about 187 miles um, until I get to Lodane's house, about three hours, just three hours and three minutes, I think is what it said. So I'm getting back on the road, hitting the interstate. Um, my time on the windy mountain roads is over, um, but at least I'm gonna be able to haul ass the rest of the way. So I will see you guys when I get to Lodane's, unless I make another stop, which I doubt. Smith. I have no idea where I am and have never been here before. I assume this is going to be the fastest 
way uh, to get me onto the interstate. I think there must have been some road construction or something because it took me all over the place through Fort Smith, but I'm finally about to get back on Highway 64 towards the interstate. I'm now 6.2 miles away from the on-ramp to the interstate and I'm just about to enter into Oklahoma. So here we go, only about two hours and 35 minutes left to get to Lodanes. And it's gonna be all interstate driving from here on out. Turn left onto US 377 South. The Google Maps is not, why do I keep calling it the Google Maps? Google Maps is not happy. But I'm pulling into a Stucky so I can get gas. Because I was down to only 57 miles to empty and I didn't want to chance it. I'm only, I think, about 35 miles from Lodanes, but still, I didn't want to take the chance. And plus, I gotta pee. So I'm gonna go in here to this, oh my god, they've got a Dunkin'. Uh, I probably don't need to have any more coffee today, though. I want one, but I'm gonna resist the urge. Gas is, like, super cheap here. Only $2.59 a gallon. So I went in to pee and the bathrooms in there were gross. Oh my God, if I can do this while I film. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up now and then I won't have to do it again for a while. Oh, it got hot out there, you guys, but I just checked my maps. I was a little bit off on the time. I'm about 49 minutes away from Lodanes, about 45 miles away. So I will see you guys when I get over there. I'm heading back on the interstate. Damn, that's loud. Okay, y'all, so we have to park, and we have to pay to park over here, which I didn't realize, so I'm gonna go over here and pay for our parking. I don't know how much it's gonna be. It's $10 to park <laughs> for dinner. It's not gonna take my 10. And oh. I just poked my tattoo and the brain it hurt. Get it. Okay, I don't know. Let's see if you can figure it out. Man, that was the most jacked up machine ever. Like we barely, it wouldn't take a bill. It wouldn't take my credit card. We finally got it paid. And, and, gonna... and we had to dig in the machine to get the receipt yes, out. Yes, it wouldn't even print it out. Say hi, Lodane. Hello, hi, Lodane. <laughs> the train go by up here, Oklahoma mural. And we're walking right over here to the Bricktown Brewery for dinner. Oh, over here, wherever it is, somewhere. Here's the side of the Bricktown Brewery. We're going in this way, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool down here. I like it. Buildings are really neat. Everything's made out of brick, obviously. It's Bricktown. Uh, we're going to Beauty is in the Eye of the Beer Holder. Great. Ooh, kinky That's Friedman. a Kinky Friedman quote for you there. Is this the entrance? That's pretty. Oh, well, it's still pretty. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we just went in Bricktown Brewery and they said there's gonna be an hour and 15 minute wait. And I can't wait that long because I haven't eaten anything all day. So we're gonna go, I think back to Midwest City. Maybe we can go to the one that's there. Yeah, because I- I forgot it's Friday night too, so everything. Well, it's a Friday night. It's a Yakuza <laughs> reference for those that get it. Um, I don't, but. It's all right. I'll, sh I'll show you later. You're okay. gonna love it. All right. So, uh, yeah, basically, I didn't realize there was a Bricktown Brewery, like, subsidiary location in Midwest City. Uh, Much closer. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, this is the That's one, okay. This is the OG. It's the yeah, original. Yeah, it would have been cool. flagship station. Yeah, it would have been cool to go in. It was really neat, but it was packed, and there's people waiting everywhere, so... Yeah. We're going to go back and try to find somewhere without such a long She way. didn't get to see the pub vibes, though. I did, know? yeah. And I like coming down here to Bricktown, so I don't mind. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's content, right? We got footage. <laughs> we got footage. We got footage of downtown. People <laughs> are thirsty for it. <laughs> right in front of us, y'all, here's some uh, big old Oklahoma City buildings. Looks really pretty in the skyline. The sun back there just starting to go down nice yeah. so if you're in oklahoma city stop by the american banjo museum if we had more time i'd go to it if i wasn't starving to death yeah we got a firefighter museum a softball museum we got all sorts man the, everyone wants you to go to the bone one but I, yeah i've gone to it is it cool uh yeah but i had a unique experience I, am i going the wrong way no okay. no not at all oh i'm, <laughs> I'm uh, just slow <laughs> i uh i actually went with someone uh yeah who had, who had some problems and uh, didn't need to be 
fetishizing skeletons. Oh, okay. So it, was a, it was an unhealthy visit. It, All was, right. it was sad at the All end right. of the day. Alright, okay. Yeah. Well, we need to have a museum, an Oklahoma City museum trip one time. Yeah. When I come up. That'll oh, be fun. I mean, there's, there's plenty of them. The, Oklahoma, the art museum I've been to again recently, but mm -hmm. it's fun. There's one in it's a natural history museum in Norman. I love that's fun. natural history museums. Oh, yeah. yeah. I get to see some dinosaur bones and Hell shit. yeah. All right, y'all. We're trying again. We are at the other Bricktown Brewery uh, over here in Midwest City. And we're going to go in. I don't think they have a wait here. It does look kind of busy, but there's not people everywhere like there was downtown. We are like two buildings down from Cheddar's. Oh, yeah. We can always go back to Cheddar's because <laughs> that was good. We'll go in here and check it out first. We're inside waiting to be seated. Doesn't look like there's gonna be a wait today. Okay, we got sat at a big high top table out here and that there's Lodane eating a mint. <laughs> And there was a is there was a lady at the other Bricktown Brewery that as soon as we got there she was like, yeah, I hope you have some gum or something because my breath tastes like ass. Yes, I and heard her. Was, yeah, that guy was like, oh, that's nice. Burr, burr, burr. And then that's when I was like, oh, I want. Mm, I don't know. Saw those peppermints. <laughs> and was like, I don't want to have the Bricktown Brewery ass breath. Ass breath. No. Nope. Don't want that. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm gonna get, y'all. They have uh, they have burgers. They have a whole bunch of stuff, and I am not doing carnivore. And I will explain that more to you guys another time. But I'm about to put down some food because I haven't eaten all day, and it's like almost seven o'clock. So I'm gonna eat. Lodane got a what'd you get? Blood orange. Yeah, it's, I think it's called Wiley's Blood Orange Wheat. I'm a I'm a wheat beer girly for the most part. I was telling this to Cindy that like. No. <laughs> it's a fly. Beer is an acquired taste just like coffee and I never acquired either enough to get to the like black beer or yeah. black coffee. Yeah. Just, you know, I don't I don't do a warm Guinness. I'm you know, <laughs> I, I couldn't handle it, man. I, I'm sure I can't my Irish coffee. ancestors are upsetty, but they can, <laughs> you know, it's fine. I eat plenty of potatoes to make up for it. <laughs> but same with, uh, you know, same with beer, with coffee. I do, I do a little cream. I do a little sweetener, you know. Yeah. But this is, uh, it's good. It's got. Is a, it doesn't really taste orangey per se. It's just like, yeah, one point it touched some oranges. But yeah, some nice, orange notes, yeah, some nice. hints. Of orange. It's, it's, I think it's primarily the smell, but yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's just a nice it's light right. wheat beer. Yeah, I like a I like an unfiltered wheat beer too. Like mm -hmm. you know, I'll get dirty. Oh man, I beer. don't like beer at all. <laughs> What's funny is I don't drink that much beer. I'm not that big of a beer girl. Yeah, really. that's why I drink super light. Well, stuff. you're at the Bricktown Brewery, yeah, exactly. so you but gotta we, get one. But we do end up talking about them often. Like, for yeah, some I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know what's up with that. We we eat more steaks than we drink beer, beer and probably. we don't ever have conversations about rare we should, versus well done. We should have more steak conversations. I mean, I'm putting you know, that on the table. I am I am discovering <laughs> levels of rarity. I've always been a well done. Girl, so oh man, I, uh, I like it medium rare. Yeah, I've been exploring going up a little bit, mm -hmm. but you know, yeah. and no problem with sushi, so I don't know what my issue oh, is. Oh yeah, I love know. sushi. And I am having an unsweet tea with lemon. That's right, folks. No alcohol for me tonight. That was I told a long you. explanation about this beer for you to just I thought it was like, great. Go like, yeah, when I got a tea. Yeah. 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 I have great time I got, I got a tea. Yeah, you have really Sorry, good time. Sorry, guys. I had, a, I had a miserable day, uh, and halfway yeah. through this beer, I am starting to feel... I hope you feel better. A little better. Good. Little better. Good. We, 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 I'm, we I'm to, here to cheer you up. We had to, we had to you know, pop the pimple so we can go on this trip, and it'll be fine. I yes. don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. And you're going to feel better, and we're going to be awesome. And we do like the road. <laughs> I do. I love the road. On the road again. Just can't wait to get she on the road, the road again. On the road again. Y'all, Lodane and I, we got sent. We're going to share this, okay? So I got a burger and sweet potato fries. And then we also got a chicken sandwich with mac and cheese and slaw that is supposed to come on the sandwich, but it's on the side. And that is like a whole freaking side yeah, order. Yeah, it was like, fuck it. You know. <laughs> So we're gonna split the sandwiches in half and each have half a burger and half a chicken sandwich because we couldn't decide what we wanted. Yep. <laughs> it's true. Dana's so artful with hers, like hers fit perfectly together. Mm -hmm. And here's my slop over here. <laughs> I think this is gonna be good. I'm starving, I'm about to dig in. Well, the chicken is really good. How's the slaw? 
it's decent. It's like if uh, old KFC coleslaw like uh -huh. left it long instead of dicing it into little bitty pieces. Uh -huh. Like I think it's kind of that vibe. Right. So yeah. All right. The sweet potato fries are also really good. I haven't tried the I haven't tried the burger yet, but I'm about to. Was the burger good, Lodane? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm about to try the chicken. It's good. The chicken's really good. Lodane is getting uh, Lenny harnessed up to take him for a walk. We just got back from dinner. <laughs> He's so full of energy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, it's almost nine o'clock now. Uh, we're probably gonna just hang out for a little bit longer and bunk down for the night. I got my air mattress here, I'm gonna fill it up. So I usually sleep in Lodane's living room on an air mattress that I inflate. And then we gotta get up tomorrow and drive to Dallas. Really excited about that. It's only about three hours from Oklahoma City to Dallas, so it's not that bad of a trip. Um, but then the very next day, we're driving to Little Rock. So I've got a lot of, I'm putting a lot of miles on the car this weekend, but it's gonna be a super fun time. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, stay tuned for the next vlog when we are going to Ikea and to a concert.